this just give you a sense of size. That's Devil's Tower. 386 meters. This is 182 meters. Look at the size of that thing. Statue of Liberty is only way down here. <laughs> and this is twice the height of this. And that is the foot of a giant creature. This is the wrinkle zone where the tendon breaks. I'll show you this in the anatomical. Now take a look at this. We're going to get deep into the anatomy in a second. These are all those fibrils. Look at these wrinkly looking ones at the top. Why? Why? I can tell you why. Because that ten, tendons are under tension. When you snap them, they go boing, and it's just like a rubber band. And this part here is all wrinkly because that's the wrinkle zone. Down here is still the heavy duty fibers. And they don't have breaks in them like trees. And these are, this is the heel. That's the heel bone part. And it went out to the front. And just scooping up the sides. And all the red blood is all over the place around this as well. Hold on. It's uh You see this? <laughs> this is all this flesh. The guy fell over. That's all the flesh and they're all this ready stuff. And I could found the actual uh ribs and stuff, I think. Hold on. Well, here, let me show you, show you this. This is Devil's Post Pile. It's a different place. Same thing, wrinkle zone. All of this same kind of fibrils. These are tendon fibrils. They're all over the earth. That's all the earth is made of. What's this one? All right, look. Look at the wrinkle zone. Plus, there's red blood running out of here. You see that? That's red blood because this has to be serviced with, with blood. Everything has to have blood. Now, there's not much in tendon. It's very, very sparse. But there is some. This, I think, you see the size of this thing? Look at that. And this is all stuff that's eroded off, all the tendons that were, were, were there. Because there was a lot more up above. A lot more. It breaks at, a, at a, a, uh, an abrupt transition. And then this is all... The flesh is all around there. All right, here's another shot of it. This is not vul vulcanism. That's insane. And they break off just as flat as a pancake. And that's that's uh, Devil's Tower. All right, look at this. <laughs> here's what a guy's body laid. This isn't just erosion. That's bloody tissue from this guy's dead body. Is that again? And anytime you see a lot of growth, a lot of green growth, it's loving that blood. Look at it. It's it loves blood. It loves blood. Some meatball put up this as the roots under the devil's tower. You got all these people that do crazy things. Look at the size of this guy. <laughs> Look at these tendon fibers. <laughs> And they still have these little flappy looking pieces on them because they're, this w was what would be called the synovial sheath. And what that does is it, the tendons slide within these sheaths and they're peeling off here. That's all that is. You see that? That's all, that's, that's um, Devil's Tower. And it wraps around the outside and they come up with these tendon fibers and they break at what is called the abrupt transition. And you get this wrinkle zone. This stuff here fell off to the sides and you see piles of the, the white blocks laying over the sides because there was a ton of it up here too. The rest fell off and, and turned into mud and, and plant life. <laughs> This is a little gross, so if you don't like gross things, look away. Here it comes. This is a live, you know, Achilles tendon. They break right about here. This is the ball that you see going around the outside of Devil's Tower. Now, up in this section here has all fallen off and is laying around the outside. Now, this is an Achilles tendon. You know how I keep talking about the abrupt transition? That's it right there. That's where they break. You see that little wrinkle there? You see that? That's where a transition zone comes. And when you snap them, they snap there, and then you get a wrinkle zone right here. And this is the top of Devil's Tower. The bottom is the calcanus, they call it. I think I showed you this before, but this is it. 
that's the wrinkle zone. That's the little bulge you see around Devil's Tower. And this was what it was like before it broke. And when they break, they're under tension. That's why you get that wrinkle zone. It's very, very obvious. Now, this guy was stunningly large. You see all these blocks around here? Those were where it went back up until it met the flesh. And the flesh is laying over here. You see it? And that's all that is, is the Achilles tendon. That's that, what they call a calcaneus, calcaneus or whatever it is. It's the ball, and then it comes up, and here's the abrupt transition where it snapped. And it's just right across like a flat as a pancake. Now you see this? This is the abrupt transition, and that's the wrinkle zone. And there's an area over there where there's blood. And if you looked at an anatomical drawing, you would see it's going to have an artery coming up. There's always an artery. There's another red blood spot here. Now, these, all these blocks fell down at the bottom. They splay out here so that the tendon can wrap around the ball of the calcanus there. All right, once again, any anatomist will understand this very easily. And these fibers are tendon fibers. They wrap around the ball of the calcanus. These are the heel sections in the back and um, this is actually where some blood has run out a little bit to um, moss grows on blood let's put it that way you see these little spots on the back here how they wrap around there you think that happened by volcanism that happened by wrapping around a calcanus Okay, so obviously you know I think it's a foot, and I think it's what I'm a giant giant, and I have so much other stuff to support these size creatures, and even bigger. So, let's talk about, they're talking about trees, they're talking about basalt from lava flows, and all kinds of crazy stuff. That is a creature's foot, that is a wrinkle zone, there's a calcanus tendon ball underneath here, that is from a giant. Okay, my friends, this is the ultimate challenge to the tree people. Now, trees are completely different than the tendons that I show all the time. Trees have segmentized sections, and it's because of the cellulose nature of the trees. You see up here? Whoops. You see how they have these breaks in them? Now, I have a, a tree section right here. It's, it's exactly the same as that. And they, they are nothing like the um, like Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower is a foot. I'm going to show you that right now. But these here, let me show you some petrified trees, and I'll show you the difference that can happen. Because they can petrify in different areas. And in one area, they can become agatized, like with blood. I'll show you that. You see that? These are all transition metal colors. This apparently was in an area where it petrified and was nucleophilically invaded by blood, just like this is. Petrified opal looking trees. You see that? That's blood. That is the, those are the chemistry of blood right there. And um, let's see, I think I have something else here. Oh, that was that one. Uh, let's see. All right, look at this. Now, this, I think, was, well, I know it was some kind of giant creature back here. And apparently the heart or something was right in this area. I'm not sure what this is, but it's, there's a lot of red blood here. Now, and that, that's what happens. They get invaded by the chemistry that is local to where they are. And if there's a lot of blood, you get opal. Well, in the case of trees, you get what they would call agate. See, this I've shown this a million times. This is an opal heart from the Yoa region in Australia. And these, all these different colors are the different transition metals. And you see them all in the blood here? Th those are just floating around your body. And they have invaded different types of tissues like the ventricle walls and the heart strings and the aorta and all that stuff. They have different chemistry so they invade them and they cause different colors to show up there. Okay my friends, everybody has seen the pregnant lady stone at Baalbek which is a big chunk just like that, flat as a pancake right there. Now I'm going to play this and um, 
it's just going to play very slowly as I talk. All right, now, what are we looking at? This is tendon. Very tough, tough. You see this step off here? These tendons have to glide next to each other in a synovial sheathing uh, and soup, really. They're separated by a, a, a membrane. And you see what I'm doing there? Sliding it back and forth. They have to move back and forth. This is a source of pain in your body. I'm going to tell you right now. If this glue sets up, and it will. This, this is the toughest glue on the face of the planet. And you have to keep it moving. Once it sets up, whoo! And I've, I've got a way of now of making that glue sort of become fluid again. And it just is very, very, very slow movements and uh, of just relaxing your back more or less. Now, because that's where my mind hurts the worst is my back. So we saw what happened here. Let me just come back a minute so we don't get lost. This is into the glue. You see all this red blood and there's some black spots and all these white spots. All the white ones are are uh, mineralization. They're tough, tough fibers that hold things tight. Now, as we move past the glue, we're coming into the muscle. And you're going to see the muscle weave right in, just like, like a rope weaving in. You see it weaving in? You see them? See that right there? <laughs> That's, that is the muscle weaving into the glue which was attached to the tendon. That's the, that's the transition. And then here there'll be transitions as we go out through the muscle. You see what we woven right in there? Isn't that amazing? And that's, that's a, what they call connective tissue. The white stuff is connective tissue. In between the white stuff is muscle. Here there is almost no muscle, very, very little muscle, because we're, we're really just attaching. This is a very, very tiny space. This is not big. And then as we go out, the mineralization stops at a certain point. Not completely, but you'll see the abrupt transition. I call it abrupt transition. And it'll, you'll see the same look to it. Not the fuzzy, but... <laughs> but as you come out, you'll see it changes to a different color, like... It'll be coming any second here. There it is right there. You see it? That's the abrupt transition. So it was whitish and a lot of fiber, and then it broke right off. Well, it didn't break in this case. It continued into another transition of, of biological material. So I'm focusing back in and out here. But there's still a lot of mineralization here. Less out here. So this is where they break along these, these um, transition zones. All right, so I showed you the transition zones, I showed you the glue, I showed you the tendons. Now, there are different tendons in different sections of the body. In your Achilles tendon area, they are hex fibrils. In other areas, they are flat, flat straps like that pregnant lady stone. Now, I don't know where in the body these things are that I had just shown you, but I, I know that they are tendons. Now, you see all this? This all, this is the glue. This is where they glue in. And this is where you get pain. I do. This is my back is very painful a lot. Now, I've discovered if I just barely lay flat on the back and I just lift my knees up. So I just I'd like take 30 seconds. Literally, I'm not kidding you just to lift them up, 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 a little bit, a little bit. And you use your arms to lift them. You don't use your legs to lift. You get, your back is absolutely relaxed. And you're laying on your back like this, and you're lifting your, your knees up with your arms. You're pulling your knees up. And, th and then what you want to do is cross your arms so that you keep your knees together. Otherwise, they flop open. And if you have any pain whatsoever, just stop. Or go so incredibly slow, it's just beyond belief. I take sometimes literally 30 seconds to get them from up to straight up like this. Just straight up like that. And then you let them back down another 30 seconds. And you do that over half a dozen times or so. 
and then they'll start to get a little bit flexible and you start to be able to actually move them around and, and do all kinds of, and then before long, but you got to be careful. Just, as soon as you feel any pain, that's it, case closed. And don't overdo it because you will cause inflammation in these areas. That's pain. But I'll tell you, if you do it only for, oh, two or three minutes, maybe twice a day for a week or so, it worked for me, and it's working for Tyson, too. He has, he has a bad back. He does a lot of woodwork, you know, I mean, he's, uh, you know, chopping wood and splitting wood and all that stuff, and his back is bad, and um, so is mine. But I'm telling you, mine's a lot better, and he says his is, too. So, anyway, w let's get back to Devil's Tower. <laughs> uh, I, could, I could roll through things. <laughs> I can't help myself to so much to life. This is Devil's Tower right there. <laughs> it broke off. As I told you, these are abrupt transitions. They just break right at that spot, flat as a pancake. You're going to see some blood vessels and things. Other than that, you're going to see all of these connective tissues that are connective, not, not broken in blocks like the wood. Totally different situation. This is totally different. Cellulose and, and body tissues, no comparison whatsoever. Okay, as I said, I know it sounds crazy, but just as I just showed you, Devil's Tower is made of the same tendon fibrils as this, and they come up, and that is the Achilles tendon, and it comes right up the foot, and I'll show you an anatomical. You see that? That's your wrinkle zone. And these little spots here, they're not growing there just by accident. That's where blood is. I have the same thing here. This is a no-toe. This is another foot. It's a no-toe. And I could put my finger right, a finger right there. I could feel the depression. That's where the blood was coming out to service an artery that ran up this whole thing. You see? You can maybe see. See the circle here? There was a bone in there. And there was another bone in here. And this is where the blood came down the leg to attach to this foot. These things are, they all change in different ways. Here's another one I have. Hold on. Oh God, it's here somewhere. Here it is. There's another one. This is called a no-toe. And we have tons of these. And the toes are built right into the foot. It has the same structure like our foot. Only inside there's springs. They don't have regular tendons. But it had a, uh, a tibia. The, the big bone sat whoop, in that saddle right there. The tibia and the fibula. They just fall right off because there's really no attachment to them. All of the, and we have lots of these, and they just fall right off. Why, why can't we look at this? Why wouldn't somebody look at that? Why won't anybody pay attention to my very, very good friend Caesar? He feels left out. I'm sorry, Caesar. I'm doing the best I can.